perfect gluten-free vegan dinner rolls that absolutely everyone is gonna love whether or not you eat gluten. Hey guys, what's up? Hello, my name is Britt and I'm the vegan food blogger and recipe developer behind the Banana Diaries, a vegan food blog dedicated to helping you create the most amazing vegan recipes that everyone will love, not just those who are vegan. All right, today we're gonna be making these amazing gluten-free dinner rolls. They are so soft, plush, they taste just like classic dinner rolls, which is amazing. You can make them for your weeknight dinners, you can make them for holiday dinners like Thanksgiving. Everyone's gonna love them, not just the gluten-free people. They're also nut-free, dairy-free, and of course eggless because we are doing vegan, but just being conscious of those who also have nut allergies, I think that's what also makes these gluten-free vegan dinner rolls super wonderful. For those who specifically follow a nut-free diet, um, there are recipe substitutions that I've listed in the blog post to make sure that you are using all dairy-free products that are nut-free as well. I use some products that have nuts in them, such as Miyoko's, but there are other brands that you can use. So I've noted those in the blog post. But without further ado, let's begin. So to start making our gluten-free vegan dinner rolls, I'm just gonna go over the ingredients really quickly. So we have tapioca flour, millet flour, there we go, I'm finally pronouncing it right, sweet rice flour, arrowroot starch, baking powder, which this is gonna help our dinner rolls rise a little bit better along with our quick rise yeast. Definitely recommend using quick rice over um, active dry yeast. Then we also have apple cider vinegar. This helps to stabilize the air bubbles that are made in our dough. And then we have dairy-free yogurt. I'm using forage milk, cashew milk. If you are nut-free, you can also use um, coconut milk yogurt or soy milk yogurt. Any of those are fine. And then we also have sugar and sea salt. I just put them into one bowl because it's just easiest. And then we also have dairy-free milk mixed with water. So this is one part water, one part dairy-free milk. You can use any dairy-free milk here. I used cashew milk here. You can use soy, coconut, etc. And that's it. So we're gonna start by whisking together our dry ingredients. And as a reminder, I've noted this in previous recipes, but please try to use a kitchen scale. I've linked the one that I'm specifically using down below in the description box, but using a kitchen scale, especially with gluten-free recipes, is going to yield a much more accurate bake and more consistent bake. So we want these fluffy gluten-free dinner rolls to actually be like regular dinner rolls that you can make again and again and again, and you know that they're gonna be perfect every single time. So definitely get a kitchen scale. There are like $10 ones on Amazon that are really, really high functioning and great. So. Let's begin. So we have 390 grams of tapioca flour. I have included the cup measurements in the ingredients post, so you can use those. Um, but again, I recommend the kitchen scale. And I've also zeroed the scale here. So I'm just gonna measure everything into the bowl because that's just easiest and it also saves us some cleaning up afterwards. And this recipe will make about 12 dinner rolls that are regular size. We're just going to, for the purposes of this recipe, actually let us, we will make the 12 dinner rolls. So. Now we're gonna do 342 grams of millet flour. And then we have 80 grams of sweet rice flour, which is different than white rice flour. So please keep that in mind. Sweet rice flour is what we usually use to make um, mochi. I, I pronounce it like Italian with like the CH is like a K, so sorry for my mispronunciation. There we go. And we're gonna do 80 grams here. So definitely use sweet rice flour. It is different than uh, white rice flour. And it also does give these cinnamon rolls a slightly sweeter taste along with the millet flour. And I do give um, recommended swaps in the recipe post, so do be sure to check that out, read it thoroughly, and see what you can swap in. And now we're gonna do our, all right, and now we're gonna do 30 grams of psyllium husk powder. And you guys have seen me use psyllium husk powder before rather than the rough husk form. I personally like it because um, you don't really see any psyllium husk in the final bake, which I think makes these even more believable that they aren't gluten-free, even though they are gluten-free. So it will trick the you know, gluten eaters that maybe are curious as to what you, the gluten-free eater, are eating at their family holiday table. So that's my little tip right there, is the psyllium husk powder. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of arrowroot starch. And I love um, Let's Do Organic because they are entirely organic, which is really nice. Oh, that was a lot. We'll do a little bit less for the second. <laughs> Good thing I'm weighing this so I can tell. Perfect. And you can also use cornstarch too. Then we're gonna add in a tablespoon of baking powder, our sea salt and sugar, and now we're gonna do 14 grams of the quick rice yeast. So 
Little pro tip, I also, I think it saves you money if you buy the jar of quick rice yeast and if you um, like to make gluten-free breads a lot instead of buying all the plastic and then, you know, those packets you just have to toss continually. This is great. Okay, now we're gonna give this a good whisk. And you really wanna make sure that everything is mixed together on the bottom as well. Okay, and now it is time to make the rest of our dough. So I'm gonna set our kitchen scale aside and get this hooked up to our sand mixer. All right, so we are using a stand mixer with our dough attachment. You can make these dinner rolls by hand, but they are gonna take a little bit more work. You can just use a large bowl with a wooden spoon and then end up kneading the dough together in the bowl. Um, or you can just use a stand mixer, which I think is really easy and super fast too. So we are gonna start by adding in our apple cider vinegar. So just two tablespoons of this. And then we have our dairy-free milk mixture. And this is slightly warm, that's gonna help activate our quick rise yeast. Okay, and then we have our dairy-free yogurt. Ooh. And now we mix. And then after a few moments, the psyllium husk begins to activate, and then that will help thicken our dough. And now our dough is ready to go. It's just slightly tacky, but it's perfect. We're gonna lightly flour our surface with millet flour and get to shaping our dinner rolls. Now I'm just gonna lightly knead the dough and get it into a smoother ball. And just flouring the surface will help us um, easily shape our dinner rolls. So now that we have our smooth ball, I'm going to divide it into 12 dinner rolls. So I'm just going to slice right in half and then divide the halves into six. And you can also weigh out your dinner rolls too if you wanna be more accurate. I'm just gonna take each quarter and then just divide it into three. And these will make really nicely sized dinner rolls too. So if you wanted to weigh these and make them like super even, you just weigh the full dough on the scale and then divide that by 12. Okay, so now we have our 12 dinner rolls. They have not been shaped yet, but now let's shape them. So I'm gonna just scoot all of these off to the side here and focus on this one right in the middle. So take some more flour if you need any, and I'm just gonna press it flat, and then you'll take the corners and just kind of wedge them all together and then just pinch right in the middle like that. And it should actually stay, which is a little bit different and better than um, regular dough, I think. And then we'll just shape it underneath like that, constantly spinning it. And that just helps smooth out the pinch. And then you can even go like that. And you get a super nice, smooth, round dinner roll. So just place it into your casserole dish and just keep repeating for the remaining dinner rolls. Okay, so our dinner rolls are all shaped. I'm just going to cover them with a clean dish towel and we're gonna let them rise for about 30 to 40 minutes until they've kind of doubled in size. They will almost be completely touching together. They're still gonna maintain their shape, which is really awesome, even though that they're gluten-free. And then we will pop them into the oven. So stay tuned. And our dinner rolls have super puffed up. Now we're just going to brush them with the vegan egg wash and get them into the oven. But like, look at that. This is gluten-free, it's amazing. Okay, so our vegan egg wash consists of maple syrup and a little bit of soy milk. You can also use almond milk or um, coconut milk, but the best result I've found is with soy milk for some reason, I think it's the proteins in the soy milk that just makes the, basically like the dinner rolls brown a little bit better and gives them that slightly glossy texture on top. Okay, these are ready to go. Let's bake them. Okay, so 
So our dinner rolls are just out of the oven. They are perfect. And now I just have a little bit of vegan butter that I'm gonna brush on top. They are soft and squishy. They're just lovely. Wow. It looks and feels like bread. Wow, that is such a good texture for a dinner roll. And now we're gonna put a little bit of my absolute favorite vegan butter, the Miyoko's classic vegan butter, with a hint of sea salt. Wow, this just looks so good, guys. My goodness, this is dinner roll material. Wow. Okay, so now we are gonna do the taste test. That's perfect. This is the most perfect texture for a vegan dinner roll, a gluten-free vegan dinner roll. This is so fluffy and soft. It has just the perfect amount of sea salt to it. It has like just a, a slight amount of sweetness to it. It's very good. I highly recommend making these for any holiday party, Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever you, holiday you're celebrating, make these gluten-free dinner rolls and everyone's gonna love them. Even just a weeknight dinner, these are really, really good. All right, if you love this recipe, be sure to go click the link down below. That's where you're gonna grab the full recipe and be sure to leave a rating and review on the blog if you try them. Also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified when more recipe videos like this pop up on your newsfeed. And yeah, I'm just super excited for you guys to try this one. I know you're gonna love it and everyone else that isn't gluten-free is gonna love them too. Coming from someone that eats gluten, I love these dinner rolls, so that's saying something. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.